Viking Challenge. Let's go. For this challenge, I'm making a sax. When they're well executed, they're beautiful in their simplicity. For this build, we're making pattern welded steel from 1084 and 1520. I want to make a pattern that isn't grossly complex, but that'll push my skills as a maker. The 24 layers of steel are drawn out and I've cut off a portion from the end. With the remainder, we're splitting it lengthwise. One weld failed and will have to be cleaned and re-welded. It's called a challenge, kids. It's called a challenge. If you're not worried that you're going to fail, it's probably not a challenge. Ah, bit of a setback. Keep going. The end cut was split into four pieces. We'll weld them up into a simple mosaic, and they'll be part of a jacket that'll cover the 1070 core. That, that was a good session. That was fun. That was like <laughs> such a good time. <laughs> I'm like, what's next? What's next? Oh, crazy. All right. What is next? It's a new day. The forge is warming up. And while it's warming up, I'm looking at this billet of multiple pieces and I'm concerned that oxygen is going to get between the layers, cause scale and stop the forge welds from happening. So what I'm going to do is create a canister of sacrificial steel around it so that oxygen can't get in and it'll give me the highest chance of success.
now we gotta check what's in that box what's in the box let's do a commercial break if you're interested in anything that i make here go to rainydayforge.ca and you'll be able to buy it there Mild steel welded to the billet. I need to grind it all away without removing too much of the pattern jacket. The fair chloride etches the steel and allows me to see where to grind. Now that the steel has been cleaned up, the sacks can start to take shape. Excess steel is removed from the tang. It'll be used later to make another knife. I'm going to heat it up and hammer in some bevels so that that pattern can be maintained because I don't want just a little strip of pattern because that blade has a very steep bevel. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice. super important to get it as straight as possible because of the pattern in the steel that jacket if it's if it's if the blade is a little bit skewed and I'm going to grind straight I'm going to end up having a wonky pattern ask me how I know don't ask ask you on
gonna finish these builds? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> so Handle, I'm going to use this new little tool that I just uh, constructed to lay out where I'm going to embed my copper chain. Okay. Boom. Boom. 